rubber knife, compass, first aid kit, ID tags, manual, plus two boxes of pills to ward off jungle fever? What? Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasting. And welcome back to Sundays at Sears. My name is Jamie and this is Mid-Century Wasted. Today we are going through another 50 pages of the Sears Christmas catalog, the 1968 Wish Book. This is a series that has been going on for, oh, a good 400 plus pages now. And every Sunday I premiere a video flipping through about 50 more. And we're getting towards the back end here. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. Okay, last week, this is where we left off. And I am dealing with a little bit of separation here. So hang in there with me. <laughs> we're, we're, we've got some catastrophic catalog uh, damage here going on. But I think we finished up Christmas, went through books, started getting into some sporting equipment and I have no idea what's next so let's go oh well here's something super popular currently in today's market we've got at home gym equipment the confidence builders a few minutes of daily exercise with these weights helps keep me in top shape says Bob Matthias only man in history to win the Olympic decathlon twice, and now a member of the Sears Sports Advisory staff. Hey, well, what do you know? I have never heard of that guy. But here we go. Here's some dumbbells. Ted Williams vinyl encased dumbbell set. 26-pound junior weight set. I think workout gear, especially more of like the 40s and 50s workout gear, especially for women. It was really, really funny. This isn't looking too odd really i mean maybe like the high socks but <laughs> weight lifting exercise bench let's check out the form here uh those leg raises look a little questionable but <laughs> overall not too bad i guess boxing gloves striking bag platform mitt set exercise mat follow easy steps to physical fitness that are on this mat program for men and women developed by president's council on physical fitness Interesting. I wonder what was actually written on that mat. That would be really kind of fun to find out. I wonder how outdated those exercises are. <laughs> Folding exercise board helps you trim up. Okay, I swear my dad had one of those like in the 80s, like in our backyard and he would do sit-ups on it. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is going on here? Well, I bring back what I said about odd exercise uh, attire. She kind of looks like she's wearing a garbage bag tied up around her ankles. Oh my gosh, that is what they're selling. They're selling those, the outfits. Two-piece vinyl exercise suit makes exercise do double duty. So it is like a plastic bag. I wasn't really wrong, was I? Should pounds of excess moisture. So yeah, they just wrap themselves up in some vinyl to work out in. Oh my lord. Ski way. Helps keep you in shape for the ski slopes all year round, right in your home. How would this work? I don't understand the physics of this. You just slide on it back and forth, I guess, with poles. Oh, how weird. Jim King, just minutes a day, helps keep you trim. Standing on chrome-plated steel anchor bar. This type of thing is kind of still around today. Compact gym set. Spring-type exercise set. That seems like it would be pinchy. Oh, man. Pull-up bar. What is this contraption? Well, there's a weight belt. Exercise boot set includes two four-pound strap-on boots. Oh my god, they're weighted boots. That looks a little barbaric. Wear these leg weights before you play it and take them off and you'll move quicker with more agility. Is that scientifically proven? Don't ask me. I'm not exactly the expert on fitness. <laughs> Now what have we got here? Our finest Ted Williams cool night sleeping bag for camping in 20 to 50 degree weather. Bonded fill, holds 20% more heat because it's evenly distributed, multi-layer construction. Proportioned fit for campers up to six feet tall. Oh, six feet, nine inches tall. Okay, good, I was gonna say, that's not very tall. Offset top cover, I wonder how outdated 
this would be if you were to see one now and then compare it to modern current day sleeping bags. I wonder how they would compare if sleeping bag technology has improved. I know now like the real sleeping bags have sort of like a tapered, tapered at the feet. So there's not so much like air between you and the edge of the bag at your feet area. But other than that, I just don't know. Sportsman's space blanket evolved from space research. Won't crack, rot, or mildew. Fits in your pocket, but unfolds to huge 56 by 84 inch sports blanket. It's one of those metallic kind of blankets, right? Look at those air mattresses. That looks like a floaty raft that you would sit on in the pool. <laughs> Doesn't really resemble today's air mattresses, does it? Oh, look at the roller skates. Wow, how fun is this? Rink skates, designed for really superb comfort and control. $16.99, $22.99. Look at those. There's some nice high tops. And look, it's got the vinyl covered rink skate case. You'd have a nice little briefcase to carry your skates in to the roller rink back in the day. And here's roller derby precision skates. Wow, those are pricey too. Look, that's like double what the normal rink skates were. More than double, really. Crazy. Here's Ruff. You found the special cartoon of Dennis's lost dog, and now you're eligible to get a $5 discount on an order from this catalog placed before November 2nd, 1968. See special insert under front cover for details. Well, I didn't see that special insert. That must be long gone, but look at that. There's a little like hidden Easter egg discount coupon in here. How funny. Street Kings, outdoor shoe skates. Those are cheaper. Do those have metal? Yeah, steel wheels. Oh gosh. See these, these ones over here had the plastic wheels, but these ones had steel wheels for just skating in the street, I guess. Breaking your necks. Be a big wheel with this new three wheeler. Ooh, that doesn't look safe. These all kind of look a little bit like broken ankles to me or broken heads. Trainer roller skates, steel wheel zip fit skates non-marring rubber wheel zip fit skates <laughs> jeez these names oh bicycles all right let's see what we got here what kind of bicycles did they sell at sears in 1968 lightweight touring bikes five speed 57.95 three speed 44.88 tank style midweight that looks more like a, what I would call a beach cruiser today. Um, but this looks just really, really cool. Look at the headlight on it. Is that what it is? Just for boys. Oh, gee, thanks. Modern as tomorrow, jet sweep tank has chrome plated twin bulb headlight uses 2D batteries not included. Yeah, yeah. So that's like a battery operated headlight on that bike. That is so neat. Spiders, five speed flamboyant green beauty okay <laughs> i wish i could see a picture in color and know what flamboyant green means beauty looks ready to travel even when parked at the curb five on the floor stick shift oh my gosh look at that it had a stick shift oh my goodness puts you in control knobby rear tire blah blah blah, blah. Pre-stripped. I don't know what that means. Single speed, flamboyant green frame, chrome plated fenders, handlebars, rims, sprocket and hubs, quilted bucket banana seat. I feel like that's uh, like a bike they would be riding in the movie The Sandlot. <laughs> Unicycle. Okay, this is very intriguing. I mean, were unicycles something common back in the in 1968? I don't understand this. Who's like going around riding a unicycle? Spider one piece generator headlight, saddle baskets. And over here, we're moving into color and we've got some accessories. Revolving safety light tells others you need help. What? With a twist of the lens, a revolving light for parking or when you're in distress. Good Lord, was that that common that you needed to alert people? Black tires are out, colors are in. Those are some fun colors. And the baskets too. Full willow basket, white magenta, blue, bright plastic floral garland. And here's a bunch of other fun accessories here. One Bronco spider seat. 
two moon bar and spider seat caution air brakes what three spider backrest with reflector four girls spider seat five rally spider seat man these spider bikes must have been really popular six scoop fender set seven front child carrier seat eight rear child carrier seat those were baby seats for the bike you guys oh my god and of course you know like it's not like anybody was wearing helmets or anything back then too i don't even want to think about that it was just too distressing for me and there's your bike speedometer and like a car style steering wheel I've never heard of anything like that before on a bike. That's kind of crazy. Jeez. This has been a very interesting page about 1968 bikes. Oh, and here's more. Yeah, see? First bikes make eyes sparkle at Christmas. Uh, I would like that umbrella. Actually, this right here, that like patio umbrella is definitely my speed. So let's look at these bikes here. Sporty spider styling. The spider style bike must have just been totally the thing. See, Dad, that's the kind I told Santa about, and I told him then I'd give my old tricycle to Joey. Oh, uh, well, that sounds like my kids. <laughs> Poor little Brody tends to get his Bose hand me downs. My little one. But that's just the way it goes, kids. Sorry. Here's some pedal power. That's so cool. Nice pink bike. Economy price, tank style, mid-weight. Those must have just been like the outdated kind of ones. It looks like everybody wanted, wanted this style at this time. At least that's the ones that they're really pushing. I wonder if that's the green color that they were talking about. There's a yellow one. Definitely not cheap bikes here, that's for sure. More spiders. These spiders. Spiders with big 24 inch wheels. Give you more speed with less leg work. Dual rear handbrakes. Yeah, those are pretty cool. They look like choppers kind of almost. The way the handlebars are anyway. Look at that. Look at those handlebars. That's really, that's really weird. And there's another like stick shift. <laughs> on it that's so strange i've never seen anything like that before five speed stick shift console has custom style wood grain look so is that before there was really like hand shifting they really had like a car style stick shift i guess that's, that's so crazy oh i see it says these spiders really move out i missed that the first first time look there's the one with the steering wheel that's so weird. I've really, I have never seen any bike look like this before where they're trying to make it seem kind of like a car. That's, that's crazy. Dragster front. They're really making these look like cars. Oh, here we go again. Well, first of all, we're in the gun section here, obviously, or gun case section. But here we go again with this weird numbering system they've got here. We are being gypped out of pages, but if it's anything like last time, they're going to make up the pages and call it an A and a B page later. So I just, I have, I have no idea what happened with this numbering system here, but here's some nice colonial design gun cases, <laughs> gun cabinets. I'm not seeing the guns themselves being on sale. It looks like we're just talking about the containers here at this point, you know? Gotta sell a gun rack. Gotta sell everything else here in, in this year's catalog. Might as well sell the gun racks too. Furniture styled cabinets for the sportsman. The country look. This is when we get into just the colonial, colonial awful Mediterranean design. Yeah, well, boy, I really feel sorry for the ducks when this guy goes hunting. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh boy. No. Oh. Ski wear. Oh, oh my. So growing up as a kid, uh, my parents, or even before I was born, my parents were avid skiers. You know, we're talking like the 70s and 80s once I was born. And we went skiing every year when I was a kid. And, you know, I got to tell you, ski attire has always been like kind of notoriously insane. <laughs> I mean, it just, it always looks like so different from just regular clothes. It's just, it, I don't know. It's always just very flamboyant and extravagant, but there you go. This is, this is definitely no, no less wild than I would expect for 1968. Nothing like the little onesie, onesie jumpsuits to go skiing. And here we are just 
snuggling around in our turtlenecks, having some, I don't know, hot cocoa or something, I suppose. Sharing one, can't have your own, heaven forbid. I mean, she just has like a dead look in her eyes. She's contemplating just dumping this cocoa right on this guy's red turtleneck. Matchy matchy. What? So this guy looks like 30 years older than her too. Why is he looking at her like that, you creeper? Get out of here. And we've got some leather mitts, snow cruiser boots, and liners for the boots. And suddenly here we are back to golf clubs. And this does seem out of place, I'm just gonna say, because there were golf clubs in previous pages and now all of a sudden there's more golf clubs so it does seem like the numbering kind of got wacky here at some point but anyway here's doug ford and shirley inglehorn golf clubs whoever they are masters and pga champ and she was touring woman professional past president of ladies pga all right well there you go ladies were allowed to play golf back then i guess i don't think it was always like that. Golf balls, steel shaft clubs. I wonder again how this sporting equipment would compare to modern day technology. I'm assuming it would be quite abysmal like most things that have technological advances. Oh, <laughs> well, hey Blake. Here we've got some toboggans for death-defying snow fun, made of rugged hardwood and sealed against moisture. Fast downhill fun for everyone. Sears skis and boots for the bunny hill set. <laughs> okay, well, there's for the bunny slopes, I guess. Skis and ski boots, I know just from experience are, there's no um, value or anything. And you can't use vintage ones really at all. Especially when you're talking about like the 80s ones, like the plastic just like, basically explodes if you try if you would try to ski in them so I know like this old technology of skis um is very much quite outdated so I do know that much about that kind of sporting equipment and just like the shapes are completely different of skis nowadays I mean th this is archaic <laughs> compared to this technology and stuff that they have now. It's really pretty funny, honestly. It's so outdated. And I'm gonna assume that Blake, my hockey playing husband, will be looking at these and be able to say pretty much the same thing of just, I bet these probably weighed a ton compared to the skates nowadays. The sticks were probably completely different. Laminated ash hockey sticks. They're not wood, right, Blake? Or are they, are they wood? No, maybe they are wood, but they're just like super lightweight now. So I don't know. I'm acting like I'm supposed to know stuff about hockey since Blake plays hockey, but I don't really. So he can correct me if I'm wrong. Snowboat. What is the snowboat? Breathtaking bobsled speed with the maneuverability of skis. Oh boy. It's got danger all over it. Everything was just dangerous back then. I don't get it. Everything, like every single thing had an element of danger to it. Oh, here's some fancy ice skates, figure skates, youth figure skates. I wonder if figure skate technology has changed a ton since then too. They kind of look similar to today's figure skates, so I don't really know, but I'm sure like everything, the technology has changed. Vinyl, leather, beginner skates, single blade, double blade. Double blade, is that a thing? Double blade skates. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but not really an avid ice skater, so I wouldn't really know. Not the cheapest thing in the world for as far as like a hobby goes. Skate accessories, ankle supports, blade guards, skate tote, skate carrier. Dad's really a brave skater. I'd cry if I took the spills he took. <laughs> nice. Oh, here's some fishing stuff. Ted Williams Game Fisher. The fiberglass boat for hunting, fishing. Well, it's got a built-in cooler. This is a boat with built-in safety extras. The molded hull is designed so it won't roll or tip as other boats. <laughs> no rivets or seams that can leak. No more caulking. Air flotation makes it unsinkable with rated load even if totally awash. I don't know what that means. And when you're finished fishing, you can take it water skiing with a 14 HP. Well, you got me. I am not really sure about the technical information on that one, but... There's the motor and here's your trailer. God, this stuff, I mean, boats weren't cheap. This is some expensive stuff here, even for a little dinghy like that. <laughs> 
And here's some electric trolling motors. I don't know about fishing, but those of you who do, here you go. Here's all the fishing info. My nephew loves fishing, so if he happens to watch this, there you go. And then we have a random little bocce ball set. Is it bocce ball? I think it's bocce ball. Hey, there's one of those like floating lounge chairs. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I like those. That's really funny. Now what have we got here? What is this? Oh, coin collecting. Our finest coin set has 40 hard to find coins. Well, what's the fun in that? If they give you the coins, huh? Super treasure chest coin kit, complete coin kit. I didn't know that these coin kit things came with coins. That's interesting. Gosh, that was like a whole, whole elaborate system there. I'm not uh, familiar with coin collecting really at all, but oh, what is this? Scanomatic, examine coins quickly with this electric viewer. So it's basically a magnifier. Yeah, 1964 presidential coin set, a true collector's item, coin starter set, treasure hunt kit. And I know coin collecting is still very much a thing. But I've never seen these like kits like this with world stamps. Oh, this is stamp collecting here. I, I just haven't seen that before. Save this catalog. You can order toys on pages 433 to 605 from now until July 30th, 1969. Well, you know what that means, people. In just a couple pages, we're about to hit the toys and we're going to be in Toyland all the way pretty much through the very end of this catalog. Or yeah, like through tr true to the end. We've got toys from, from now till then. So that's going to be fun. I know the vintage toys or the 1968 toys, then new, now vintage, are going to probably be pretty popular to look at because of all the memories that they will evoke in people who had those toys in 1968. But we still got some sleds to look at. And this one I keep peeking, even though I'm not showing it on the camera, but this definitely reminds me of Christmas Vacation. <laughs> If you have seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. And we used these when I was a kid and we would go to the mountains and go skiing and play in the snow and stuff. Only they were the plastic ones. They were not the aluminum metal ones, but um, we called them death dishes. These are called snow discs, but they were death dishes and they were quite fun. You know, we did some risky childhood um activities i suppose all right what does dennis say here oh boy christmas can last till summer yeah and they're showing kind of a preview here of some of the toys oh this is gonna be good you guys oh we're swing sets talk about deathly childhood activities oh man tetanus you need tetanus shots after playing on these types. These are the ones where like the metal chains would like pinch your hands on the swings and you get the like rusty marks on your palms of your hands. Oh man, why are their eyes so soulless? These illustrations are terrifying with these black eyes. Oh my God, this is really scary looking. I mean, really that does look like a fun swing set though with this like platform on the top here. Now, how much was this? Sears Super Gym, $92.50 cash. I mean, yeah, that was pricey. These swing sets, though, today are really, really, really expensive. Like, unbelievably expensive, some of them. Here's another one. Jungle Gym. That one's a jungle gym, I guess, because it's got the animal cage, right? Is that why this one's called the Super Gym? And this one's called the Jungle Gym? Go on an African safari on the Sears Jungle Gym. Extra sturdy double girder construction. 48% stronger with two bars instead of one. <laughs> God, I just buckle before. And then this one, gym set with all the strength of six legs available three different ways. With pony ride and six foot slide, with pony ride and no slide, with glide ride and six foot slide. So you could pick. Now my cousins, when I was really little, I feel had pretty much this exact thing. I remember that part of it for sure. I feel like it had the little candy stripes on the sides too. And that was the early 80s, so they were probably just making this style for a long time. All right, this is it. We are at the start of the toy section. These are just the first pages of our 168 page toy section that offers one of the largest assortment of toys you'll find 
anywhere. My goodness, this is gonna be really fun. This is gonna be right up there with the, the Christmas decor, you know. So look at this log cabin. Holy mackerel, $550. These section pages, these, these starts of the new sections, they always have a really expensive, unbelievable thing to start it out with. And this is no exception. But look at how much fun they're having. My God, this would have been like so much fun to have as a kid. It's like their own little hideout, playhouse, cabin. Like this is, this is very um, like little rascals to me. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. That was really insane. I wonder how many of those they actually sold because I got to think it was like two to only like the richest people. And what have we got over here? We've got little Timmy on his Lotus Racer sidewalk pedal car. That's so crazy. That, can you imagine finding one of those today? Like a good condition one. I bet these things sell just for like oodles of money. HO scale road race. I wonder did... Did they have Hot Wheels at this time? I guess we'll find out probably, huh? Well, look at these are like modeled after actual cars. Corvette, a Jaguar. Ah, oh, a 16 inch drink and wet doll with case, two outfits and comforter. All for only 11.88. This is one of those ones where they'll put the water in and the water would come right out the hole at the bottom. Child size five piece dinette set with marbleized vinyl tabletop. That is so cool. Oh my God, I would love to have like a full size real version of that. That is awesome. Dang, you know I'm gonna be trying to find all of these toys now. See if anybody's like selling these vintage toys on eBay. Oh my goodness. Yikes. If you're not a uh, puppet or marionette fan, you might want to close your eyes on this page. Got some ventriloquist dummies. Characters look and perform like professional ones. Make them talk by pulling strings concealed in back of neck. They look alive. Danny O'Day, number one. Is that like a specific one? Ventriloquist friend. Self-teaching ventriloquism aids. There's the records to teach you how to be a ventriloquist. Skinner's record, advanced record, hand puppets of Dennis and his family and friends. As in Dennis the Menace. Yeah, there he is. And I think those are kind of cute. Oh my gosh, 99 cents each. Look at that. Finally a bargain. <laughs> These handcrafted in England, Pelham puppets. So like marionettes, right? Yeah. Put these world famous marionettes through their paces. Pinocchio, Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, and a cat. Just a random cat. And then all these Mattel toys will talk to you. Just pull the talking ring. Oh man, Bugs Bunny, Gentle Ben, 15. That bear was called Gentle Ben. Is that a two-headed llama? What the heck? 16. Push me, pull you? Push me, pull you. It's a two-headed llama. Oh, okay. 18, Bozo. There's Bozo the Clown. 19, Popeye. 20, Puppy Patter. 21, Night Night Patter. Sad Blue Puppy has yarn hair. Oh, Sad Blue Puppy. Look at these. It's the Space Bug. Ready for takeoff into the world of unending fun. Toddlers and youngsters can rock it, spin it, climb it, and slide. Look at all of that dangerous joy. I don't know. That doesn't look that dangerous. I mean, I guess if you get it spinning and then a kid gets like squished underneath it or a kid goes flying out of it, that could be troublesome. Look at all these little skipsy doodle, whirl and rock, step and slide. Uh, my kids would just go nuts for this kind of stuff. Slide around. Well, it's like at home. Oh, this poor page is falling out so bad. We're almost there though. We're almost to the falling page. Hmm, okay. Like watching real color TV. Color cartoon movies are projected on back of screen. Color, color show. Color show set with Popeye eight millimeter color movie. So it's a projector that just projects onto the, the back of the screen. That's... I actually haven't seen that before. I have not seen one of those before. Huh, that's kind of pretty cool. I wonder, I bet the, I wonder how the quality was on that. Disneyland play tape. Even a three-year-old can slip in a cartridge and listen to stories with their songs. Nothing to plug in, no worry about breaking or scratching. Pop in cartridge, it plays. Pull it out and it stops. Volume and channel selector controls. Two inch speaker. Uses 4D batteries, got it. And it's Disneyland, not Disney World. 
Disneyland. Hippity hop, dance out a tune with hippity hop. Every step chimes a note. A giant musical dancing keyboard. My kids have something kind of like that and they very much like it. Play favorite songs by color on Tunaloon. It's such fun to play a tune and anyone can do it because the keys and the songbook are color coded. Got it. Just blow up the big balloon, press the keys and you're playing. Weird. Never heard of that before. Battery powered record player. A tot can operate. Safe and simple to play. Just slip 45 RPM record in slot. Nothing to plug in. Adjustable plane speed. Automatic shutoff. Wow. Oh, and then a fun tunnel. I mean, truly, kids still, to this day, you just can't go wrong with, with a fun tunnel. You just can't. These are still fun. Some of these simple things, I swear, it's they're timeless. Kids absolutely still have fun with those today. Dennis the Menace Reversible Magnet Chalkboard. 109 teaching pieces, including letters, numbers, symbols, even script. That's really cool. Super cool. I really like that. And then 109 piece magnet board. Magnet picture, chalkboard, trace, copy, arrange in scenes. That's very cool too. You see, these things like my, my kids today would still like stuff like that. Ah, electric pegolite. Is this kind of like the first light bright? Like the primitive light bright? <laughs> Peg a light. Design and redesign with light. Just put one of the cardboard pictures on the light box and pop in colored pegs one at a time. It's similar. Light bright, you would create the entire scene with the little pegs. It didn't have like a color picture that went along with it, but it does look similar in a way. Oh my goodness. I love that these pages are all in color now too. This is this is how it should be. Musical kitty barn. Wow, look at the way these animals were shaped and designed. That's kind of whimsical. Those are fun. Oh, look, they even said whimsical. <laughs> A series exclusive with a herd of whimsical barnyard animals. How funny. Well, it was whimsical. Listen and watch Dennis play the xylophone. Dennis the Menace xylophone. Dennis the Menace shows some unsuspected talent. <laughs> <laughs> D batteries plays London Bridge is falling down. Carry a tune, portable one man band, musical activity box, eight things to do. Again, these sort of simple toys for babies, they're not that much different than than this with just buttons and lights and sounds like that's pretty much the same. Fisher Price toys play musical favorites showing moving pictures. I kind of remember that one where like you would turn the dial and the picture would change. I do, I definitely do remember that one. And here, the movie camera, press trigger. This old man plays as eight slides on removable disc revolve in viewer. And then the pocket radios. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Where's little dog gone? Oh, CNSA. Well, they still make CNSAs. And again, timeless toy. My kids loved CNSAs when they were a little bit younger than they are now. But yeah, I like that one with the alphabet all the way around it. That's really cool. That'd be a good one to find still. And there's talking Disney toys, say eight phrases, Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And look at the graphics on this one. Mattel's talk a fun phone. I'm a telephone. I'm supposed to talk a lot. Look no further. Nobody sells it but Sears. It says 11 lengthy phrases, soft and cuddly as a pillow. Oh, interesting. It's pull string. Here's books that talk. Fee fi fo fum. Record player that helps preschoolers learn to read by themselves. Oh, that's cool. So it was a record player with a book attached so they could kind of read along. Barking dog bank. Dog snatches coin, retreats. Oh yeah, I've seen those kind. So you put the coin on, it kind of like pushes the button down sort of, and then the dog comes out and gets it. That's really, really cute. Talking blocks. Peep, peep, meow, bow, wow, moo. Just squeeze and each block makes the sound of the animal pictured. <laughs> Okay, these are more little, little kid toys. Peg and play activity desks. Peg and play activity desk. Adjust to grow with your toddler. Musical crib toys to coax a smile from baby. Uh, definitely thinking that's some sort of a danger now with those springs and straps and things. Probably also a choking hazard in a way. You know, crib mobile, crib gym. Yeah, musical Busy box filled with 10 intriguing gadgets, 10 wood nesting blocks, 
Oh yeah, do those have Disney on them? Yeah, those are cool. My kids still play with blocks. I mean, they're they're four and a half and two and a half, and I swear they still play with blocks and it's stack things up all the time. It's just the, some of these are just timeless, and some of them are hazardous and very outdated. But it's just really funny to to see what has stood the test of time. You know, roly poly chime ball and pop beads. Uh, pop beads. I remember those. I do remember those. They would all click in together. Hmm. Kids probably choked on those. Kids choked on everything. Everything got banned. Dancing bear, bobs and spins, sound and action blocks, stack up eight funny men. Funny men. Come to Mr. Potato Head's picnic where food has all the fun. Make funny faces by adding pickle and onion ears, eyes, and mouths on Mr. Potato Head and his friends. Decorate Frankie Frank, Frenchy Fry, Willy Burger, Mr. Ketchup Head, Mr. Soda Pop, and Mr. Mustard Head. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Mr. Potato Head, that's horrifying. <laughs> Wow, I did not know that there was like all these different kinds of characters. And I didn't know that the like eyes and stuff were supposed to be pickles and onions and things like that. This is all new information for me. Winnie the Pooh, merry-go-round. Turn the knob, Winnie and his friends bounce merrily up and down. Carousel revolves as music box plays. That's cute. Galloping horses, musical top. That's cool too. Musical top. Just push the plunger up and down. Oh, that Donald Duck. One minute he's playing a musical ditty, and the next he falls apart. Musical pop-up. Oh, so it would like explode and just shards of duck would go everywhere? That's not traumatic for a child. How are you? Talk and tell dial phone says 10 phrases. Learn to count change with real working cash register. My own supermarket with cash register, money, groceries, even trading stamps. That is... All that stuff is just so something I would love as a kid. It's like real play kind of stuff. Gears move and little mixer set. Oh, how cute is that? Pot and spoon for creative play. Those little puzzle shape puzzle pieces. I love this stuff. Look at the graphics on that one more time. My own supermarket. Uh, it's just really, really cute. All right, here we're finally at the falling out page. This is the one that is separated here. Poor thing, but it's old, 1968. It's old for a book. It's not old for like human beings. So if anyone was born in or before 1968, I am not calling you old. I'm not saying that it's a miracle that you're still living or anything like that, Laura. And looky push car. Push it, the engine roars as headlights roll. Well, that's fun. That's just shaped fun. I like the way that that looks. This is probably super annoying toys for the parents though. Popping whale. Yeah, anything that they can run around the house and pop and make noises and stuff. Yeah, I'm not fond of those, but I have crazy kids, so. Mechanical cash register, Mustang dash mobile, shifts, gears, hear motor roar, beep the horn. I feel like I had one of those somewhere, like a friend's house or something. Kindergarten kitchen, I like that one too. See these things, if you can find them still, they're probably they're probably kind of hard to find or in good shape, you know? See cookies and gingerbread man bake through the see-through door, all plastic. Now what is this? I like the graphics on this. Pick two blocks. Dennis the Menace pull toy with six different cartoon puzzles. Oh, okay. So those are little puzzles. Oh, I see. Actual little blocks there with obviously six sides on the thing. And you would make a little puzzle. I like that. That's really kind of cool. Oh my gosh. I wish they still made stuff like this. That would be like a really cool puzzle thing for my kids. Hmm. I wonder. Puzzle blocks. Pick do blocks, actually. Ah, oh, and then look at these, like your, your typical pull toys. Dotson, Caterpillar, Baggage Train. Oh, that's funny, for an airport. Here, it's got the old woman who lives in a shoe. Old woman in shoe, music box lacing shoe. Oh, I see, to teach you how to tie your shoes. Oh, how cute. How cute is that? Perky pot, colorful percolator it is pulled along. 10 balls pop up against the tinned Tinted top and cheerful poppity pop, poppity pop sound is heard. Oh my God, that's adorable. 
and toasty toaster. Tick, 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 tick goes the timer on this popular pull toy. Eyes roll up and down and slices of soft polyurethane toast go up and down. Here's a fire engine with little people in it. Oh, well, there he is. Oh, of course, and it's on the page that's loose, too. My childhood arch nemesis. Not Gumby, but Pokey, his horse friend, with the scary eyes and evil grin. There was some episode of Gumby. I was, it was on TV when I was very, very, very little. It's one of my first memories still. And it was some episode where he had this this evil grin and it, he made a scary face or a face that I found to be scary. And I literally have had nightmares my entire childhood ever since. And to this day, I am not fond of Pokey and I will not get like a Pokey or Gumby thing for my kids or anything like that. And I am still made fun of it by my family to this day. <laughs> There's a tea time train. That is super cute too. I love the things with like the googly eyes and silly faces and stuff. Happy cup spins as train is pulled along. That is really adorable. All right. World's smartest locomotive. Range keys and the melody train plays any one of 24 songs. Its track is actually a six foot long xylophone. Oh, wow. That's cool. I've never heard of anything like that. Mystery Loco, which way will it go? Smoke puffs out of smokestack, whistle blows, headlight glows, changes course each time it hits an obstacle. Huh. Wind up showboat plays tunes as it paddles along. Youngsters get so much more fun. You get so much more for your money with Sears special action toys. Toot copter, tune truck, choo choo, clown in train, dog inside fire plug, dog on dog. <laughs> dog on dog, cow jumps over the moon, frog riding dinosaur, car carrier, funny jungle, ferris wheel, three little pigs that pop in and out. Hello, I'm Mickey Mouse. My name is Donald Duck. Hello, my name is Dumbo. Talking Disneyland characters say 12 cute phrases, a different one each time you pull the string. <laughs> and Zippy the Chimp, Smokey Bear, Smokey the Bear, Plush Piggy Bank, Oh, I like that Smokey the Bear a lot. That is so cool. And Zippy the Chimp. Rock Long Pony. Sit on animals. Plush donkey on casters. Pint size burrow. <laughs> Puppy hassock. Plush pup provides comfort for anyone. Gentlest plush pony on the play ranch. Wow. They weren't kidding. They weren't messing around with this one. Look at that. Friendly Go-Go the Burrow. He's your walking amigo. <laughs> okay. Beautiful walking Appaloosa Mobo Bronco. That's that one. Oh my goodness. Here's a little burrow every child will adore. Looks like he just arrived from south of the border with his colorful Mexican style blanket. And you would just ride him and scooch along, I guess, huh? All plastic tractor with farm trailer. Oh, that's fun. You would actually pull it along. Wood and plastic tot tractor. Go-go cycle with wind-up motor. Just push it backwards. Put up your feet and off you go. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, look, a hoppity hop. Ride a ball. <laughs> Parley Vu, the cult that talks to you. I run, jump, and walk. Did you know I could talk? Join the posse with lightning. Exclusively at Sears, its realistic sculpted body is almost three feet long. The horse that grows with the child. Wonder horse. Frame adjusts up or down. These just seem dangerous. Again, like everything else. Just step up to ride Mustang Palomino Colt with such big wide eyes. All right, and the last page of today. What is all of this? My goodness. Gosh, these pages, kids must have just gone absolutely nuts for all this. Probably just circling everything they wanted and trick and prank set. Snake in a can. Oh no. Buzzer. Oh, these are like Dennis the Menace type pranks, I guess. Dennis the Menace, jackhammer. Sounds real. It vibrates when pushed down. No batteries needed. Why? How is that fun? It's not a pogo stick. It's just a pretend jackhammer. Okay. I mean, I guess it goes kind of along this lines here, like the play tools and things. Big, big tool bench with great big tools. Pounding workbench. Oh yeah, those ones where you hammer in the little pegs. We definitely had those when I was a kid. 
Thunder Chief Tom Tom set, with the Indian headdress and everything. Yeah, I don't think they'd be selling that these days. Safari kit includes plastic camera, binoculars, helmet, canteen, rubber knife, compass, first aid kit, ID tags, manual, plus two boxes of pills to ward off jungle fever. What? What? Plus two boxes of pills to ward off jungle fever. I'm, I'm just, I'm done with that one. Are you kidding me? What on earth? Selling kids pretend pills. Oh my God. Make way for imagination. These are really cool. This is really, really cool. Three car train. Children can almost hear the clickety clack as they sit in this train. Big locomotive has, yeah, these are boxes. Super box. Toys that inspire and develop a child's world of pretend play are all double corrugated paperboard, easy for a child to put together or take apart for storage. Literally just painted cardboard boxes, essentially. That's it. That's what that is for $8.68. The Jet Racer 554. Oh, those are those, those are those bricks. They make a new modern version of that same toy, like the giant cardboard bricks. Card table playhouse. Oh, that's cool. Just slip it over your card table for hours of make-believe fun. That's really cool, actually. I'm I'm on board with that one. That one's that one's good. These cardboard boxes, though. Although that one's pretty elaborate. The robot, I will give them, is a pretty elaborate one. And that's it. That's all we're gonna look at today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. We've got toys from now through the end, and this is really, really fun. So thank you for anyone who's in the chat watching the live premiere. I always appreciate having you in there to chit chat with me about the silly stuff that we find in this catalog. And if you're watching on the replay, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any memories of any of these toys, which I'm sure some of you do, I would love Love, love to hear your memories about this stuff. Thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.